Okay, so let's do a little cleanup uh, with our panel. It's right here, remember our, this is our cockpit object and uh, we want to fix uh, the layout, make sure that these uh, screens are displaying correctly. And so we will go So I made, uh, so I opened up the sim and, and made this panel preview. Now you do that, um, the default is shift, control, alt, and space. And that basically draws this panel preview for you of the instruments inside uh, X-Plane. So this is what you've got laid out in Plane Maker. And so we, now we're going to use that preview to help us lay out our uh, UV unwrapped items here. So you can see that those are sitting right here on our panel and we want to bring in that um, bring in that image. So I'm gonna go to open And grab that panel preview and so here we can see where I've laid that out so now I can take oops I don't know why I just did that So now I can take my images. I don't know why it keeps disappearing on me. What's that? Do I want to do? Oh, I see what I'm doing here. I've, I've been, uh, I was looking at that a little bit wrong. I was wondering why the scale didn't seem to fit. So it's just a matter now of uh, scaling that face to fit just right on this instrument that's been drawn. like so and now we'll re-export this and it will show up correct uh, within the sim we won't have funny edges and such so it looks like I can scale that a little more Okay, now you also see I have uh, this Avitab uh, drawn on here as well. And so while we're at it, let's uh, come over here and we will just add another plane real quick. find somewhere for it to live but right now we'll just plop it right there uh, we'll unwrap that real quick and we come back into our UV editor and 
and you can see that my uh, ratio isn't quite right on the size I made that so we can scale that there try unwrapping it again and you can see it's still not quite perfect but I can play with that later there's no reason for you to watch me try and do it over and over again but anyway you'll want to just get that just right to how it fits and that'll be part of our cockpit object as well you'll also see I've got these instruments down here which I'm going to use to kind of cheat a few things um, and real quick let's even grab one of those so if I bring up this panel again I made the hobs here and I'm gonna grab those two faces and separate them got the right thing there we go and I'm gonna move them over here to my cockpit layer so there it is and I'm actually just to make it even simpler I'm going to select that select this join those so that it's all the same select this make sure it's got the right material there get rid of that interior there we go, get rid of that. Unwrap that real quick. Bring our preview back that keeps disappearing. And I'll probably end up making a custom version of this display just because it's not ideal. Um, the resolution on it isn't great. But anyway, so we've got those now um, set up and they should line up a lot better in, uh, in the sim now. So we'll save that, and then we can go over and uh, layer 5 being our cockpit, and you can simply hit export before I do that. I'm going to select this real quick, and let's just scoot it right there for now. Save. <clears throat> just like that and then we're gonna hit export and now um, just real quick we'll jump in and take a look at it now one thing to note on that uh, Avi tab while this is loading so Avi tab integration is actually super simple the developer did a great job all you need to do, so we create that object in our file, and then you create this little avitab.json file. And I'll pull that up in Notepad real quick. And you just have to tell it where in the uh, panel, where on that cockpit, you have space for it. And then enable true, and that just that's all that right there is all you need. And um, it should show up for you and hopefully we will see that right here when the uh, sim finally fin finishes loading in all right and there we have it so you can see now bring this in closer now our screens line up like they should and here we've got the uh, 
heavy tab. Um, right here, uh, let's see if we can select, say, What that's turning on and off. I'll have to look at that in our object. Okay, so something I noticed real quick. Uh, so I'm clicking on these and they're turning off, and that seemed rather odd. Um, so I jumped back into Blender, and on this object, I actually had this uh, manipulator turned on. That must have been a leftover from duplicating something. Um, but I'm going to turn that off, and then on our material, you remember you need this part of cockpit panel on for this, and we want to be drawn. And so I'm going to real quick uh, save that, and then we'll re-export. And then we can jump back into X-Plane, which is still running. And if uh, this is another good thing to notice, so up here at the top on the left, there's the developer tab and you can reload the current aircraft so if we reload that uh, current aircraft it does a quick reload of your objects and now if we click on that there we go now it functions correctly you click on that screen and it pops out our uh, G1000 and the same with this other screen it pops out and if we look down here at our tablet, it should now function when we click on pages. So, anyway, uh, it was just a silly uh, leftover thing in the object. It uh, had a, a manipulator on it. But all you need is this part of cockpit panel. You need that checked, and then your screens, when you click on them, will function um, the way they should.